Good morning, everybody. By morning, I mean not morning, but we won't say it's morning. Um, we didn't really sleep in, but we definitely took our time getting ready, just kind of hung out upstairs, and so now it's later in the day. But yeah, so good morning. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Hello, remember how yesterday I said I was gonna wash my hair today? Well, I decided that I've never washed my hair again and it's... <laughs> Just kidding, we are supposed to film a video today and it's like in a pool. It's bubbling, but it's not bubbling at the same time. I think it's too liquidy. I need to start using less water, I think, which I did last time and then I was worried it messed it up, but... I'm going to, because today's the discard day where you have to get rid of some, right? So I'm going to use... I do. I'm gonna try to dehydrate some, so hold on. Okay, now I gotta feed it again, and I'm gonna do more flour than water, which I feel like we put it last time. If it's not rising a lot, you probably are using too much water. So, it's not rising a lot, and I'm assuming it's because of that. Okay, it's not, I don't wanna say it's thinner, but it's right here. We're gonna check on it throughout the day and see how much it's rising compared to normal. I mean, it was rising a lot the first few days, right? And so I wonder if it is because it's too liquidy. So I guess we'll see how this goes. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna eat for lunch. Okay, I don't know what I wanna eat for lunch because usually I have, lunch is always hard for me because it's not a, in my head, an important meal, right? I don't ever eat breakfast. Oh my gosh, this hair is not gonna stay behind my ear. Dinner is always like designated, you gotta eat something, you gotta figure it out, right? But for me, again, I'm on my trying to learn how to actually eat. Anyway, I guess it's the older I get, the more I worry that I'm not eating the right way. Anyway, but lunch is hard for me because if I don't have a designated thing to eat, I just won't eat. So usually my designated thing is steak in the fridge, right? where I can have a routine every day where I take it out of the fridge and put a new one from the freezer to the fridge so it's ready tomorrow. So I don't put in effort for lunch. I put effort in for dinner, but I don't like putting in effort for lunch. Um, I do think at some point I'm gonna start doing this because my cousin was telling me about it because she was talking about, <laughs> I love it because it gave me validation. Um, she was talking about, she said, I am a lazy housewife, which, um, I get things done. I still get all the things done that I'm supposed to. I just do it in. I'm a lazy housewife, so I have hacks for everything. Again, I don't think that's lazy, I think that's smart. And she's like, because so I was telling her about how I'm like trying to eat better, because we're both on this group chat that everyone seems so healthy, and we're like, oh, that's not me, that couldn't be me. And she's like, okay, so how I eat, because she would forget to eat all the time too. She's like, we would do, or she's like, I do this thing now to where I get things from Costco, like pre-made meats. So I have shredded chicken, I have shredded beef, I have shredded pork that I sit in the fridge and label it for how long it can be in the fridge before it goes back, right? She's like, so I have three different meats in the fridge and then I have three different kinds of pastas. So I have like elbows, I have the angel hair, I have, you know, three different kinds of pastas in the fridge or not even three different kinds of pastas. I have three different kinds of things like pastas, like rice, like I think it was two different kinds of pastas and one different or one kind of rice. Then you have all of these different combinations you can make and you can have everything, something every day. And then by the end of the week, it's all gone, which I don't know if I would do three different types of things with just me and Ty. That's something that I know will be helpful when I have like toddlers or kids where it's like, you only eat these three things. You only eat noodles, you only eat rice, you only eat this, but how can we change it every day? So I'm trying to convince her to do a YouTube channel or let me write a book for her <laughs> so that I could have all of those and you guys can have all of those. <laughs> this cleaner makes me cough. I don't know if I like it. Holy cow, it makes me cough. I decided I was gonna eat one of those lunch meat wraps, but I can't decide. It doesn't sound that good to me. I want to eat rice, but that would take forever to warm up. I want real food. 
three bowls of something that I've been doing. Those are so old and I'm so scared to open them, that's why they're still in there. Oh. I'll figure it out, I'll just eat one of these. I really don't want to, but it's fine, it's fine. My stove is nasty, I am gonna clean it after this, so don't say it. That's like gone. There we go. I really regret the fact that I didn't cook an egg first to put on this. That is okay, I guess. Okay, so anybody that's been watching our videos for a while knows that we used to do this chore list and I've talked about, about it. And I feel like we have, haven't been doing it as well. We have not been doing it as well. But over the past couple days, I feel like I've been doing like a modified version of it where I'm just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna focus on one room at a time. So like the other day, it was down here, like the living room area uh, and kind of kitchen and just, you know, kind of make it one, one area at a time to make chores and just clean the house a lot more manageable. I can kind of maintain, but once it like tips past a certain point, I just get overwhelmed. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. And so I feel like I can maintain it from where it's at right now. Yeah, and while I kind of clean, been kind of clean the house, making it, you know, look all pretty, Danielle has been locked back here. She's been doing all the background work. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're just so amazing like that, huh? Yeah, but, you know, Danielle's been doing a lot of back work lately. I've been doing a lot more just around the house kind of stuff. So we've been kind of really boring, just kind of catching up because I feel like we haven't been home a lot lately because we've been just doing, doing our own thing, trying to catch up with everything. But yeah. And the room is clean. I mean, there's, you know, a couple of things up there because those don't really have a spot. I mean, the nice stands have stuff. I have a husband that thinks it's so funny. Okay, he thinks it's so funny. Hold on. He thinks it's hilarious. He thinks it's so funny, okay? I have a husband that thinks it's so freaking funny. Hilarious. What's funny? <laughs> you know we're having dinner with your family tomorrow, right? Okay, I didn't mean to make it actually dark. Oh, you didn't mean to. We were literally just laying there because I wanted to sit on my butt for a while. And then what did you decide to do? Bite your neck? No, not in any way that you guys are gonna go to the comments with your sick little things. No, it's just because he says it's not gonna happen. Number one, I, I'm, I have low iron okay. levels. So that means I get bruised when it, I get tapped you've too been hard. You've really good lately though. You've had really good iron lately. What does that mean? I don't know. It means that you've had good iron lately. We have to film a Nelly Knows video, and I know that that's just gonna be the only thing that people can focus on, so I have to cover it up. No, this is not the video where Nelly Knows teaches you how to cover up a hickey, because I'm not that guy. Because the only way I'm gonna do it is just with freaking concealer. Yes, you're supposed to put green on it, because color theory. Green cancels out red. But that is 100% noticeable. I'm just gonna have to deal with it tomorrow. Of everyone saying, Danielle. Cause it's always my fault. It's always, always my fault. Always, always my fault. Always my fault. Never is it the fault of the guy who did it. I got it. Thanks to beauty school and color theory, I mostly got it covered up. Can you tell anymore? I mean, it's still definitely, you can see the difference. Okay, I was just triggered because my head hurt. I just sit in the back of the closet for a minute and just chill. I divide for a minute because my head hurts. We're gonna go film a Nelly Nose video now. I got it covered up, it's not gonna be a problem. It's almost stepped on rocks. What? You're this thing. It's pretty sweet. Search. 
Did you do it? No. <laughs> Just blows it all away right out when you check. How'd you get that though? Um, I just took the sourdough and spread it out. Hmm. And yeah. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna actually. Oh, it's rising! What? Yeah! It's rising better! That's good, it looks like it. Okay, so I'm gonna see if this actually works. And this jar that I'm filling up right now, I'll just give to my mom because she wants some. No way, that's not a gram yet. Four grams, five grams, perfect. And then I'll just put the rest of this in a bag. So we were gonna film with my parents. I don't know if I talked about this, but they were like, hey, we don't actually wanna film today. I was like, I will film something, it's fine. So I just ended up having greasy hair all day for nothing, but it's fine. So we're gonna go to the store, get stuff for the video, and probably should just grab dinner while we're out, because I'm hungry. Okay, we are out getting stuff for a Nelly Nose video, and I got so sick because we haven't eaten yet, and it's 7.30. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm like so sick right now, and I've had a migraine all day, and so I'm like, hopefully food will help, because we need to get this video filmed. So we were getting ready to start filming uh, Nelly Nose video and we ran into a little, little problem. So what we want to you... film the pancake art video. And I don't know who would have taken it out of a box though. Unless someone did it while we were moving. We have this griddle that we got when we got married. Right here. We have never once used it. The last time I remember it, was in a box and it was the top of our pit. But Ty doesn't remember taking it out. And I don't remember taking it out. And um it needs a plug. And the plug is very obviously not there. I don't know. But we can't use it and we can't really kind of film a pancake challenge on that. Maybe just go ask if you could pick up Rancids and we'll have to just film tomorrow. Oh, okay, so I'm heading to the gym. But like we said earlier, um, our griddle thing that we're going to film with, we don't have the right plug for it. And so it had to stop by Brands tomorrow's house to pick up their griddle so we can actually do the video. Okay, I'm only like halfway through done through my workout. I usually don't take off like my top shirt because I usually wear a shirt and my tank top. I am so hot today. I don't know why. So I usually wait to take this off to the very end of my workout. But I think. We're gonna have to take it off a little bit early. Doesn't really matter, I mean, like, we're right now because I am dying just a little bit. That is better. I mean, if you can't tell, I've sweated through this shirt, which is totally gross, but <sighs> it's so hot in here today. I don't know why. Yeah, the, oh wow, that was a lot of cold water. Do you ever have those moments where you go to take a sip of water and it turns into chugging half your water bottle because you didn't realize how much water? You drank today? I didn't drink enough water today. So I took a drink of very cold, just barely filled ice water and it turned into like gulping down ice water. Ooh, chicken nuggets. They're all ooh, toasty. I just went back to the gym and I wanted some sort of after, you know, gym snack. Um, and you hate when I close the curtains, huh? Cause at night I, cl I close the, the back curtains. And you absolutely hate it cause you love the curtains. You love them. <sighs> okay, so that's how my midnight, midnight after gym snack. Uh, Danielle's upstairs, uh, already in bed and starting to get late. So we, we go to bed cause it's gonna, it's gonna feel like a long day. I feel like this isn't like not gonna be too bad, but sometimes we gotta go to bed to get sleep so that we can be all rested for all the stuff we have going on. So we are going to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. And always remember that you are worth it. Bye guys. 